I grew up in Salt Lake City, Utah. I took a degree from the University of Utah, uh, managed some stores for Safeway, and then ended up going to work for General Foods Corporation. I progressed through various jobs, ended up in White Plains, New York as a division sales manager in the beverage division, about a billion dollar business. Virtus is a pretty impressive guy. If you really get to understand his background, um, he is the top of the top in terms of CEO material for, for, for America. He has rubbed shoulders and has been uh, mentors of some of the best CEOs in America. I was asked to sit on the board of a small company that had been working on a technology for about 15 years. Numerous patents, a lot of research, and they were actually producing a product using salt and water. And when they told me that, uh, they wanted me to go on their board. I said, well, you're going to have to convince me that this is real. How can you produce something from salt and water? And they said, we have a lot of research, extensive research, 10 or $15 million worth of research. The company that owned it was publicly traded, and uh, they merged that company with an energy company, and after uh, a period of time, six or seven months, they started selling off assets. He let me know that he was on the board of directors and there was this opportunity that was coming up on a product that he thought was wonderful. But I told him, I said, you know, they have something here that they don't, they don't know what it is. And it's a lot more than they think, but they haven't figured it out. And I said, I'm tempted to put a, a group together. In fact, I think I am going to put a group of investors together and I'm going to take a run at the company. And over the course of a year, we discovered what the product was and why it worked. We developed what's called the mechanism of action. They discovered the product was based on redox biochemistry, a new field of science that emerged near the beginning of the 21st century. Redox signaling is a function central to all forms of life. Redox signaling molecules are created within every cell of the body and are vital to the immune system and to cellular repair and replace mechanisms. As one gets older, the body's ability to make these molecules decreases, a function of aging. The product provided a replenishing source of the exact redox signaling molecules the body creates, and in the same balance, enhancing cellular health. We actually wondered if people would drink a product that didn't taste very good, even if there was a perceived health benefit. And we said, let's find out. So we decided to find 40 people and create kind of a focus group and uh, we started giving it to them. Uh, we, we did that for about two months, and we said, let's go out and find out where we are with these 40 people. So when we went out and contacted them, we found out that the 40 people had turned into 135, and the product had been shipped to 20 different countries without our knowing it. And we said, uh, well, we've got the answer we wanted, that people will buy this product. When they determine that there is a perceived health benefit, they'll buy it. But in the meantime, we had contacted a, a friend, and he was running a very big pharmaceutical company in New Jersey, about $10, $11 billion. And he agreed to send a group of people out and spend some time with us and see what we had come up with. So four people flew out on a plane, and we met in the conference room we had on the west side of the city for the better part of a day. We spread out all of the research that we had out on the table. And these gentlemen ask all the right questions. They thoroughly went through all of the science that we had, and as they do that, they'd call back to their headquarters and ask questions. At about two o'clock in the afternoon, they came to us, and they said, we think you've got something really special here. We're going to write you a check that is large enough that you don't want to talk to anyone else. But there's a catch. And I said, what's the catch? And they said, you've got to shut it down. And I said, shut what down? And they said, you've got 135 people on this product right now, shut it down. People uh, have problems all the time and they deal with them as best they can. You're gonna have to walk away. And that kind of took us back a little bit. In fact, I said, I, that seems a little harsh to me. And they said, you wanna work with us, you walk away. We said, well, we'll let you know. So we ushered them out of the building and we huddled around the conference table. We came to realize that this had changed for us from a business play to something very important. This was a cause, this was a responsibility. We'd seen too many people helped by this product. We wanted to make a mark. We found something that was much bigger than either Virtus or myself. We feel a real strong obligation that our task 
is to make this available the best we can worldwide to help people. My wife questions why I'm doing this. She said you've retired more than once and it's time for you to join me and let's enjoy the golden years, if you will. But recently my son asked me to come down and join him and his family and we went to a church gathering and uh, there was something going on he wanted to be a part of. And while we were there, uh, a, a young lady came up and he introduced me to this young lady and she broke down and started sobbing. And she had a health challenge in her family that was really severe and uh, she was introduced to ASEA and because of what ASEA did, uh, she was just grateful. So I find it hard to talk about, but that's a reason.